Hey there, Eric from Global Comics, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set pricing for your PDF sales, set discounts on individual PDFs, and then also set up bundles where you can create custom sets of PDFs with custom pricing for the bundle. So let's hop right in. I'm gonna to go to my Global Comics demo publishing settings. You can do that, of course, by getting this drop down here and going to page settings. In the left bar, we're gonna see a new section here called PDF Downloads. We're gonna click Pricing. We're gonna hop right in. What we're gonna see here is a list of all of the published series with issues uh, listed here in this table. Now, if you wanna include anything unpublished because you have it scheduled for the future, but you wanna be able to sell a PDF, you just click Include Unpublished Releases and that's gonna take a moment and it's gonna to load all of your unpublished releases and you can price them. You, of course, can also sort by uh, series. And finally, we get to choose if we're going to offer a particular uh, issue for sale. Now, uh, it's just going to tell you the number here, the title of that particular issue under the heading of the uh, series, the amount of pages, just in case you have, you know, uh, you know, collected edition, um, you know, individual uh, floppies, et cetera, et cetera, uh, just to give you a little bit more information while you're setting that up. We have a discount. So we already have one applied here. When there's not one applied, it's going to say select an incentive, and we'll come back to see what that looks like once we create a new discount. And then finally, this is where you set the price. So we're just going to say that this is 99 cents. We're going to keep this as is $1.99, $1.99. And we're going to up the price here to $1.99 for each of these because we're in the business. Uh, for the vertical scroll comic that I have here, uh, it's currently not available to sell as a PDF. Uh, we'll follow up on that if anything changes. But for now, we just offer uh, traditional set comics as sellable in this form. Once that's done, you have to scroll to the bottom and you have to click update pricing. I'm going to say that again. You have to scroll to the bottom and click update pricing. Or if you navigate out of this, it's not going to save. And then you're going to wonder why nothing is showing up. And then you're going to email me or tweet at me. And I'm going to send you this exact video about 15 seconds before this moment time stepped. But let's hope we don't get there. So we are going to now show what it looks like to have a discount, right? So I already have a couple discounts here, um, but we're going to create a new one because we're, uh, you know, we're, we're running a new sale. So we're going to say that we're going to have a 50% discount percentage. We have mixed uh, a max discount amount, which is not going to apply so much in the individual um, side of things, but the uh, more on the bundle side. We'll see why in a minute. And finally, we want to say that, you know, maybe 250 people are, are going to be able to claim this discount. We're going to say that it's live and in order for it to show up, it has to be live today. So we're going to say live today at 12 o'clock PM. I'm in New York. So it's going to be Eastern standard time. We're going to say it's available until the end of this month until 11:59 PM. We're going to create that discount. So you'll see that there is the ability to copy token and you can also copy and paste this. The thing is, is that, uh, unlike our promo codes, this is going to be automatically applied and baked into the price. So you don't actually have to share this information with anybody. Um, we're going to keep this here for now, just so you know, you're able to identify which is which, but uh, don't worry so much about having to share this code. Once that's good to go, we're going to go over to pricing and we're going to now turn on our uh, newest discount here. It's a 50% discount, right? And we want to put that across everything. Actually, you know, let's hold off on the on, on issues three. Let's just say we want to have, uh, you know, the first issues here as uh, having a 50% discount. Um, maybe we want to run some kind of promotion where, you know, if anybody wants to get that first issue, get into the story, get hooked, you kind of want to get them in. Now, once that discount is applied, we're going to see what that looks like. So on the downloads page, you're going to see that there's a price here. When you put in that discount, it's going to be automatically applied into this price and the price is going to be slashed through. And then you're going to see the new price, whatever 50% of that uh, price that you set was, right? So that's pretty much that whole process. Once you've done that, you're ready to go. People can start buying your PDFs, uh, PDFs and they can buy them on sale. So now we're going to look at what it takes to make a bundle. So let's say I want to be able to bundle, in this case, my entire library. I'm going to create a new bundle. We're going to say the entire library test. Don't use this, right? And we're going to say that if you buy my entire library, I'm going to give you 35% off. Now, 
we're going to um, set a cap. So let's say the bundle is uh, $105, right? In total, everything listed, you know, as the list price. But we want to do a 35% discount, but we don't really want it to go over that $35, right? Uh, or sorry, uh, you know, so $105, there's going to be a little bit of extra, um, you know, in there above that $35, it's going to cap it for you. That way you're never, uh, you know, you're not giving away too much if you don't want to. Finally, we have max purchase account. We're going to say if the first 25 people want to buy my full bundle, have the full thing, they're going to get 35% off. Or again, we're going to make this live today, 12 o'clock p.m. We're going to make this available until the end of the month today. All right. Now we're going to write a description. <coughs> so we're going to say this is the greatest and best bundle in the world. Inside, you'll find all the stories make up the universe known as Global Comics Demo Publishing. Um, we're going to just check these things. And then finally, you get to choose which releases get included. So we're going to pick this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And this is not for sale. So that's pretty much that. We want to make sure if we want to go live, it's going to be public. We click this box. And then we click Save. At the bottom, we're going to see a preview of what the listing is going to look like. You'll see that we have the discount listed up here. We have the title, we have the page count plus the original price and then the discount price, and our um, description, all of our themes, and then of course, previews of all the titles as you might be used to seeing them. So what does that look like? Well, if we go to the bundles page for Global Comics Demo Publishing, you will see that we have these bundles here. Uh, this is going to, I'm going to refresh the page actually. Nice. Now we have the entire library test down here. Don't use this. And what people are able to do is they're able to click in and then they see basically what we just saw on the preview page, but on your profile page, this is what they're going to see when they're ready to purchase. They can of course read it, uh, preview it as they would any other comic on GC. Uh, but ultimately they'll have the chance to buy it here. And then finally, when it comes time to uh, have it show up on the live page, and then finally, when it is time, uh, when it goes live, you're going to see it show up on the bundles page. Now, for some reason, I don't know why it's not showing up in this exact video, but we have a test here that's going to basically mirror what that looks like. When you then click into it, you're going to be brought to basically this page. So that's the whole thing. The whole process shouldn't take you know any longer than this video, really. For those of you that have larger libraries, the initial uh, setup will take, uh, of course, a few more minutes. But generally speaking, we're trying to make this as straightforward as possible. If you run into any bugs, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Let us know. And we're really excited to launch this new part of our business with you. So thank you for being a part of it. And we will talk to you very soon.